So I got everything pretty much torn apart on cylinder bank one. And I removed the intake camshaft to prep it for pinning. And this one doesn't seem to have any sleeve rotation of any kind. For those that don't know, there's a sleeve within the camshaft. And uh, I guess over time, with the heat cycling and everything, that sleeve rotates within the camshaft. And when that happens, oil that flows through these holes becomes blocked and the camshaft or the cam sprocket won't be able to advance or retard based on engine load. Kind of like, you know, a convoluted, uh, over-engineered version of VTEC. This is what they call a Porsche Vario cam. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort uh, install a drift or a pin to, uh, as a preventative measure to prevent that sleeve from ever rotating ever again ever in life and uh, the way we do that is you insert the cam bolt camshaft sprocket bolt so that you don't drive it all the way in and you go 180 from the hole that you select any one of these can be pinned but I'll do this one and then I'll go to the other side and do the corresponding pin 180 from the location so let's get that done What's up guys? Checking in from my home garage. Um, had a little bit of downtime on the 997 Turbo project. Uh, I had gotten bank one intake cam pinned and that side of the engine retimed. However, when I went to uh, pin bank two camshaft, I had found that it had a slight rotation. Uh, basically the orifice that lets oil through the camshaft had been, uh, I want to say 40% to 50% blocked. So um, I actually had to send that camshaft out and um, yeah, I had to have it repaired because I did not have the ability to uh, remove that sleeve and place it back in in the correct orientation. So what I had to do is I sent it out to a specialist and I want to give a huge shout out to uh, Todd at Protomotive for uh, working with me on such short notice and getting this out to me very quickly. So uh, what I did was I sent in my camshaft and I believe he has special tooling to uh, remove that sleeve. I don't know how they work the magic over there, but let's open this bad boy up. I'll show you guys. Here she is, the repaired and pinned intake camshaft bank two. So, I'm not sure if that's gonna focus, but looks like it is. Right there is where Todd had inserted the pin and 180 in the other direction. And uh, they put a dimple on it, on the camshaft body to uh, kinda fix it in place, but I should have full oil flow going through uh, these holes now, which means no delayed time shaft or camshaft time time shaft. <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of excited to get this back in the car and get the car fired up. So another thing, uh, while I had downtime, um, I didn't really have anything to do on the car. So on my last 997 Turbo, 
um, I had done the coolant pipes engine repair and uh, when I went back together my power steering line was leaking this one that feeds the power steering gearbox with Pentison so um, wanted to avoid that they use these stupid shark bite fittings that you know two o-rings inside of there and it's just basically a slip fit type line you insert it in there and then the shark bite um, fitting holds it in place so you can't it doesn't eject but um, what happens over time is the finish or the the coating that they have on this line it just becomes you know scratched up and marred and that ends up tearing the o-ring that goes in there and when you jam it in there it, it tears the o-ring and causes a leak so it's a dumb design i don't know why porsche did it but whatever i've seen it on bmw as well so what i did was i um i removed the shark by fitting the two o-rings and then i tapped out the uh the brass fitting with uh what is it quarter quarter inch by 18 mpt tap and um i went to a local hydraulic and hose hydraulic hose and fitting store that we have around here uh cauliflower inc uh, by the way, they're great, great, great service over there. And I had, um, I bought this adapter fitting to AM fitting, and I had this custom hose made. It's a nylon braided hose with, um, I believe this is a dash eight. So this will slip nicely over the existing hose that's on the car. Um, and I'll just use a worm clamp to tighten it down on that end. And what this will actually do is, it'll just screw right in and hand fitting so uh, that's about as leak free as you could get and torque it down and you'll be good to go so anyway let's get back to the shop and begin with the uh, reassembly of everything